Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel, welcome to the reading of, for November. For this reading I am reading from the coffee cup and then I will be drawing out cards after that and then after that I will be drawing some runestones for you. I'll be reading some runestones which I love so I hope you enjoy. Okay Aquarius, also please do like, share, uh, share, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And thank you to all who do support this channel. It truly does mean a lot to me. I appreciate every single one of you. Okay, Aquarius, let us begin. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. There is a lot of cleaning up. I'm seeing something that is like um, being cleansed, clearing up um, something that felt messy or chaotic. You know certain situations I'm talking about in your life and you're asking for transparency you are in a place now in a position where you're like you know what it, this is what I want and you're going to get it basically you're asking for something you're very determined and you're going to receive it like for you there's no no there's no answer no basically it is a yes um, but in terms of the transparency, it's like you are only interested in in somebody to just speak um, clearly, you know, just forward. Just I see something here. You're tired of reading between the lines, you know. Um, just somebody to to see somebody for exactly who they are, what it is that they want to say, like a straight shooter. I get something here, Aquarius, that you appreciate straight shooters. You know, somebody that just really says what they mean, and there's no time wasting. And you are getting that. You are receiving this. Hmm. Somebody around you also could be acting out. There could be a bit of a drama queen, dramatic, all of that. And you were like, ugh. But they kind of like follow you around. I feel, I don't know if I dreamt this or I, <laughs> I feel like I've said this to you before and it's appearing again. And when I say before, I mean like a long, a while ago. I, very interesting that's coming back. I don't know. Or maybe this is a deja vu moment. However, <laughs> Um, it's not like you can get rid of them easy. They could be, a, you know, a parent figure. They could be somebody close to you anyhow that, that, um, is like that. But you, you found, uh, certain mechanisms to, you know, keep a healthy emotional distance so it doesn't affect you. You know, their, their dramatic ways, you know, their drama queen ways doesn't affect you. Um, I do see you have been building on something. There's a contract coming in that you could be signing. You're going to be very, very happy with it. New position at work in your job. You're going to be very happy with it. Um, I get a very specific message about heels. I know that sounds funny. But maybe you're starting to wear heels now or you're wearing heels again. Or, you know, there's, it's very much like I see you, I mean... Whoever wears heels doesn't just have to be a woman, I suppose. You know, whoever. But this is this is what I'm getting. Um, <laughs> like very, very sharp in so many different ways. You're asking for sharpness. You are sharp yourself. You're looking sharp. You know, your thoughts are very sharp. Everything is very clear. It's like this is, you're walking into November like nobody's business. You're walking into November, November and, and just cutting all the, the nonsense out, you know, and just grabbing what it, exactly it is that you want. I do see also eating healthier, something here about apples. I know, random message, but here we go. We, you're eating more apples. Um, just generally really looking after your, your well-being here, Aquarius. I see something with glasses. Maybe, I, you know, maybe you're now wearing glasses instead of contact lenses. I know the random messages. And I tend to get that a lot with you, Aquarius. I love that. It's so interesting. Um, there's something here about a cat, a pet cat. I mean, there is 
I see you're going to start to see luck coming in very soon um, from the beginning of November. And you're going to take that with you. Like you're very serious about getting a few things done, tying loose ends, you know. Um, here we go with another random message, something to do with a museum. Maybe you're working at a museum, you want to get more into the arts and culture. You know, you, you're like balancing things that you want to do for yourself as well as kind of other responsibilities that you have going on. Um, very much in the limelight. And actually, you know, it's interesting. A lot of the U.S. signs have a lot of the limelight in November, interestingly. Um and I do see you're surrounded by lots of people. You know, you could be going to lots of events, meeting new people as well. Uh, a lot of eyes are on you, Aquarius. A lot of attraction. Um, a lot of chemistry that you may find yourself having with somebody. A lot of chemistry. It may make you feel a bit nervous because you had everything sorted and straight. And suddenly somebody comes in and gives you all the butterflies. <laughs> And you're like, no, I don't feel in control anymore. But anyway, enjoy this ride. You know, that's, that's what I get. Um, if you've been looking, waiting for some results, I do see that there is results coming through, you know. Um, so that's one chapter that's ended. Now you're looking forward to going towards the next. It's something to do with a new job. I really hope all that made sense. My goodness. Gosh. Oh, I, I mean, you know, I, I have to read what I see and everything else. <laughs> okay. Ooh, the sun. We have the sun. What a beautiful card. Hmm. The king of pentacles. And the three of cups. Wow. The sun, the king of pentacles, and the three of cups. Well, you are finding your place. You are finding, you know, the, I, I get like something that feels like a new environment. Um, your happy place, your happy space. You know, there is a lot of things, uh, Aquarius, what you touch turns to gold. And I think that's also, also that's what I was getting because you're just very sharp wanting to really... Um, you focus on something and you're determined to get it. And that is what I see. You get a really good head start here with the sun. Great, powerful, successful energy following you. Wise decisions, important big decisions that you're going to make. Something here also, you know, you're going to... Something that you've been planning... You may get assistance with, but it's it's something here that also fulfills your desires as well as financially. You know, with the Three of Cups, I also get that you're keeping the very, very few close to you. Um, and that's where you feel secure also. And again, as I was saying, lots of um, people that's going to be around you. Lots of people that want to kind of be your friend and whatnot, but... You can't, it shows here that you, you don't trust just anybody. The Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Something also saying about not to jump the gun with something. Not to, to jump to conclusions. Wait it out. That's what I see. The Hermit. Wheel of Fortune and the Hermit. This is very much you time. I see now you're saying to yourself, yeah, this is me time. You know, with the Wheel of Fortune, you have something that is coming through. And it feels very fresh. And it feels it feels good. Again, I get the nosy person around you. Just be aware of this nosy person. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Hermit, you know, you're able to now, what I see, work through some inner things. Um, I get like every day there's something small that you appreciate. Maybe this is like a ritual or something here that you do. Um, but it, it kind of like changes a lot of the energy around you. 
I'm guessing with these two cards, gratitude doesn't necessarily like literally read that, but this is intuitively what I am getting. You are really kind of coming into your own here with the Wheel of Fortune and the Hermit. You know, you're going to, um, there's a lot of insight that's coming through, a lot of truth that's also coming to the surface, a lot of things that you are going to discover that you didn't realize before that's going to lead to a lot of your happiness. And that is what's important. Oh, card fell. King of Cups, how beautiful. And we have the King of Cups, Aquarius. Wow. Emotional fulfillment. Um, also, you know, I, I do get you're meeting somebody that's very much on your on your level. You know, right underneath the King of Pentacles. Someone that's not afraid to express themselves, neither will you be afraid to express yourself. There is something I do see here, King of Cups, generosity. You may see a lot of generosity around you. Help is at hand if you need that. You're never alone. You can be on your own, but like when you need somebody, you're not on your own here. There is something here that also it's saying ask. Ask and you shall receive. There is this pattern happening here. A very important, significant offer coming on, uh, coming through. It's going to be on the table for you. It's a yes answer. Let's see what the lovely runes have for you. Ah, we have answers. I'll be drawing out three and then meeting them. Answers. Ah, and this is the rune of Lagos. If you can see that, Lagos. And one last rune. Gable. Oh, this one's come out a few times. And so it's, it's the insight, it's the truth, exactly what we were saying now. The wisdom that is coming through. There is these changes that it feels inevitable, but it's good for you. You know, and you're receiving the form of communication. It is saying something like, you know, if you've been waiting, you know, uh, follow up, ask. You are receiving lots of things, um, you know. If you, if you, if you are able to guide yourself in the right way, follow up, um, you know, kind of probe all of that. There's something here that tells me it's important, and you're going to know as well. You're going to know, you know, when to make your first move or when you know, like you're making your mark in some way but definitely a lot of insight and whatever necessary truths that are, that is meant to come through it's happening it's happening and here with Lagos, this is a beautiful rune of water of of uh, the flow the flow of water um and we have here the king of cups you could be dealing with a water sign by the way not necessarily but you could be um, you know, there is this flow of energy, this renewal. I'm guessing also perhaps there was too much passiveness happening and now there is this strength and you know exactly. And that's why I was getting that sharpness because you're tired of the passiveness. You want to see things for what they are. And so there is this renewal of energy coming in. Something here that you, you're very much also directing that flow of water. You know, you have, you can be wearing your goals and, you know, so you can see very clearly, like no matter what it is, you're getting to your destination. And here, Gabriel, is the rune of gift of generosity. Again, what a confirmation, as I was saying about this generosity. And something is definitely coming together. Things are starting to really, truly align for you. And I get a lot of spiritual growth also. Um... And a lot of deep love, you know, within yourself and your surroundings is going to be very, very important. A lot of good harmony coming in. Mm, thank you, Aquarius, so much for being here. I really hope that this was helpful. Please do let me know. I appreciate every single one of you. Do take care and until next time.